monorail and western classic were made to each other. Hello everyone, I'm Cyberslate and welcome to my channel. Let's cut the crap and go straight to the deal. So what do we have here? We have two biggest heavy hits on the game. Monorail and Western Classic. And you may, you may think, Western Classic? Nobody used this. Well, that's true. But in the previous previous patch, they buffed this weapon. I made a build about it, but it wasn't as good as this one. Believe me. Because Western Classic with Bandit, when you procs, if you proc three times or two times, the damage goes to the roof. All right. So we're gonna use Hunters and Gunslinger with Bulletstorm. For the Hunter's Kill, you can use Hunter's Focus or Hun Hunter's Shroud. I like Hunter's Focus because it gives you more damage, but if it's easier for you to use Shroud or even Hunter's Mark, go for it. You know, it's not gonna change too much. Maybe you're gonna do 1k, 2k less, more or less, but that's it. Okay, what do we have here? We have Abrasive Whetstone, Ring of the Flower Beauty, although we can change this one with the Burden of the Destroyer. This is all around there, better. This is more for weak spots, but if you're not sure you can hit the weak spot, just use Burden of the Destroyer. The damage is almost the same. It's not that much difference. Or even a Akari Warma. That will do plenty enough. For the rest, we have Provisional Rig. Firearms reload over time while stalled. It's stalled. I don't know how to pronounce this, sorry. <laughs> so, how does it work? Why I take this? Basically, because Monorail takes a lot to charge. And even though Western Classic, the reload is really fast, you don't want to spend time reloading. So what we're gonna do is we shoot Western Classic with the Abrasive Rounds, so we proc the Bleed, and Abrasive Whetstone. After we finish this, we're gonna change to Monorail, and meanwhile it's charging, the Western Classic is gonna reload automatically, and it's gonna be full again, so you don't really have to worry about recharging. And same when you use Western Classic, it's gonna reload this, and basically what you have here is like if I use in Sidewinder, but full auto that's the best thing that can happen all right but the rest is probability cord and braided thorns what can you change here well not many things honestly apart from the ring of the flow beauty maybe you can change the senia's malice you can proc it really fast with the western classic but that's it i mean if you can change it you can change whatever you want make what's most fun for, to you but this is my best result that I got, okay? So, Western Classic with Abrasive Rounds, Bandit, Krellax with Tainted Blade, Monorail with Supercharger, Relic, whatever you like, Armor, whatever you like. For traits, okay, what is the most important here? Flashcaster, maybe Affliction if you want, Gifted is really good, uh, Expertise and Spirit, eh, Spirit, yes, you need it, because if you're not able to kill the boss meanwhile your skill is active, maybe because you fail a shot or it's your first time using the build, it will help you. But expertise, I don't think it, the, the fight is gonna, gonna last that long. Alright, so handling, uh, this is more because of the recoil of Western Classic, but you can leave it at level 5 and will be good to go. Siphoner is really good because of life steal. So if you get hit and you don't have that much armor, you have life steal from abrasive rounds and also from your trade. So that's really nice as well. Haste, haste helps you a lot. So perception is a new trait from the new DLC. And insight. This one you don't need. You don't need at all. You can change for whatever you like. Maybe bar skin, for example, or even fortify. Will be good. Okay, now we go to the pain in the ass, the fragments. <coughs> Sorry. So the most important thing is sharpshooter. I know, it's RNG, you have to roll it. If you are on console, it's a pain in the ass because you cannot even mod it. But it is what it is. Right now, even me, I have mod damage and mod critical chance and this build is not killed it around mod damage. But it is what it is and I'm afraid to re to reroll everything. So, the most critical thing is range damage, the sharpshooter. Here, on the fragments, you can equip it. 
equip it, you can change the, for example, let me see, range damage for weak spot. It's gonna help a little bit. So, or maybe critical chance as well. No, no critical chance I have already. <laughs> so let's change this. Range damage for weak spot. And let's try it out to see, to show you how it's gonna be. Although if you stay in the beginning, I think I already showed it there because I put a little montage. So what are you gonna do? You active Hunter's Focus. Shoot. Crazy Weston. Change Monorail. Active it. There you go. Shoot again. I didn't charge completely. As you can see, the DPS is not bad at all. You can keep it a constant 10k or even more. So... And as you can see, in the climb, it lasts, bullet storm it lasts how much? 26 seconds. In 26 seconds, I was able to do 237k damage. And around 9k to 11k DPS. That's really nice. Of course, if you if the enemy doesn't have weak spot, it's gonna be more difficult. But it's up to you. If you have fun with this build. I recommend it is really really fun and well that's it thank you very much guys and see you next time why is not waving <laughs> cyber out